So we've had to wait a few years, but at long last we have an updated movie slate for both Disney Animation and Pixar Animation. So let's dive into all of the latest details up next. This video is sponsored by Disney Collect by Tops, and by acquiring new collectibles in the arcade, completing daily missions, and crafting cards into rare sets, you can build a collection to then trade with Disney fans around the world. So download the free app for iOS and Android today with the link in the description box below. Hi there Waltoners, I'm Jack and this is DS1 Newscast and when it comes to D23 Expo, you know me, I'm very excited for the Disney Parks presentation. But for me personally, right below that in terms of excitement is the Disney Animation News. As you see, it's only every couple of years that we get big updates regarding Disney and Pixar animation announcements. And so with that being said, let's get into it. Beginning with Walt Disney Animation Studios, as Chief Creative Officer Jennifer Lee took to the stage to give further details about their next animated feature that's titled Strange World, and will be arriving in theatres on November 23rd of this year. And despite Disney having already released a teaser trailer for this movie and have described it as being an action-adventure journey that delves deep into an uncharted and treacherous land where fantastical creatures await the legendary clades, which are are a family of explorers whose differences threaten to topple their most crucial mission. Beyond that short synopsis, we haven't really received many story details, and so let's fix that now. As we've learnt from the Expo presentation that this story really revolves around family, and more specifically, the character of Searcher Clade, who is voiced by Jake Gyllenhaal, and his estranged father, Jaeger Clade, who's voiced by Dennis Quaid, as these two characters encounter each other once again on a mission to save the world, whilst also trying to reconcile their extremely difficult relationship. And the overall feel of this film is said to be inspired by the pulp science fiction serials of the 1930s and is meant to be eliciting that Jules Verne-esque imaginative planetary species and environments. But what's going to be interesting is to see the audience reaction to this movie as in many ways it feels like Disney is returning to the type of science fiction animation that they last tried with Treasure Planet in 2002. But having said that, I do remain optimistic for this movie, as it's directed by the same director of Big Hero 6 and Raya and the Last Dragon, Don Hall, and it's also going to star Lucy Liu and Gabrielle Union in the voice cast as well. But then now, let's move on to some brand new movie announcements. As you see, oftentimes we hear the quote relating to Disney that it was all started by a mouse. But in many ways, it's actually more accurate to say that the Walt Disney Company, it was all started by animation. And so it's in that vein, with the company celebrating its 100th anniversary next year, Walt Disney Animation Studios is going to be releasing an original animated feature that will have a blend of both 3D animation and 2D hand-drawn animation in honour of the company's illustrious animation history, with a movie that's officially titled Disney Wish. And no, I'm not talking about that Disney Wish, which is obviously the new ship that joined the Disney Cruise Line fleet earlier this year. But instead, this is going to be a movie that will focus on the origin of the iconic wishing star that has been featured within so many Disney movies throughout the years. From Pinocchio to Peter Pan to Princess and the Frog, and how could we forget the Disney intro itself. Which, by the way, there's going to be a new Disney movie intro that's going to be celebrating the 100 years of the company. As after all, Disney has released this tagline, how did the star that characters wish upon in so many Disney movies come into existence? And of course, in classic Disney fashion, this is going to be a musical and will have original songs written by Julia Michaels and will star Academy Award winner Ariana DeBose as the film's protagonist, Usher who also took to the stage to sing the song More For Us, which was a preview of one of the songs from the movie. And to round out the details, this movie is written by the Chief Creative Officer of Disney Animation Studios, Jennifer Lee, and is directed by Chris Buck and Fawn the Razenfawn, and will be released on November 22nd, 2023. 
Now, despite Disney not disclosing what is scheduled for the November 2024 release slot, further details were given about Walt Disney Animation Studios' collaboration with the Pan-African animation company Kugali, as Iroju will be a sci-fi animated series that will stream on Disney Plus in 2023 and will tell a futuristic coming-of-age story about best friends Tola and Cole in Lagos, Nigeria, and will deal with issues of inequality, innocence, and defying the status quo. Then, in terms of Pixar animation, Chief Creative Officer Pete Docter announced the Pixar animation slate through 2024, starting with what will be Pixar's next movie, Elemental. And this will focus on a love story between a fiery young woman called Ember, who's voiced by Leah Lewis, and a go the flow water guy called Wade, voiced by Emmy nominee Mamadou Athi. And despite this being the very literal representation of opposites attracting and falling in love, there is one catch, and that is that they can obviously never touch. And so they are forced to step out of their element to discover who they are. Now, from the footage shown at D23 Expo, the movie's visual style is kind of a blend of the intelligent world-building environments seen within Zootopia, Onward, or Monsters, Inc., mixed with the unique character design attributes that was seen within Inside Out. As in this city, fire, water, land, and air all reside together in harmony. And so this movie that's directed by Peter Son is going to be a very visually interesting movie that should push the parameters of the animation art form, with it set to be released on June 16th, 2023. Then later on in the year, Pixar will debut their very first completely original Disney Plus series called Win or Lose. Now, the concept behind the series is that it shows the same exact championship week for a middle school softball team, but with the difference being that it's from individual perspectives of each one of the characters per episode and how they might be feeling. And so as we watch new episodes, it will fill in the gaps and create a holistic storyline, which will make for an interesting show to watch when it starts streaming in 2023. However, as we move into 2024, Pixar have two movies scheduled for release, with one in spring and the other in summer. And the first is titled Elio, which is said to be an out-of-this-world movie that will show us outer space like you've never seen before. Now, the brief synopsis of this film is that it centers around Around an 11 year old boy called Elio who unfortunately doesn't have any friends and yet somehow meets aliens and is then transported across the galaxy being mistaken as the intergalactic ambassador for Earth. And rounding out the details for this movie at this time, the voice cast has America Ferrara as Elio's mum Olga Solis and Jonas Cabria will voice Elio and it's to be directed by Adrian Molina and is set for release on March 1st, 2024. But then the biggest announcement was saved for last, as after years of speculation, Pete Doctor confirmed that finally Pixar is indeed making a sequel to his 2015 movie, Inside Out. And although Meg Lafove will be returning to write this sequel, this time around, it won't be directed by Doctor, but instead it's going to be directed by Kelsey Mann. Now, although we don't have much in the way of details about the plot of this movie, thanks to an interview by Amy Poehler conducted with Variety, we not only know that she will be obviously reprising her role as Joy alongside the other emotions, but also the movie will be introducing all new emotions to Riley's headquarters as well. And they have to deal with the arrival of puberty and all the emotional changes and mood swings that Riley is going to have to navigate with the complex minefield of being a teenager. And personally, I am very optimistic about this movie, with Amy Poehler's initial sentiment within the interview that this sequel does have the potential to be even better than the original when it is released on June 14th, 2024. But now, it's over to you, Walton is. I would like to know which of all of the upcoming movies from Disney or Pixar are you most excited to see and the reason why. And of course, if you're enjoying this coverage of D23 Expo Weekend, then be sure to give this video a massive thumbs up as it really does help this channel out. Share this video with a friend or tell a friend about this channel, and you know I'll be back before you know it to cover the latest about the Disney Parks presentation. So be sure to subscribe down below and have the notification bell turned on if you haven't already. And with all of that being said, I've been Jack, you've been you, and I'll see you real soon.